announce to you that here with me next week, Lance Russell will be joining us, and at that time, Lance is going to have a very big announcement that I think will be of interest to all wrestling fans. So be sure to join us for that next week. Indeed. I'll be on vacation next week, but we look forward to Lance Russell returning right here on USW Wrestling. I can't wait to have him here. And I'll be back the following week. We're yep. gonna have you have a great vacation. Uh, we'll yeah. see you then the following week. In the ring, it's the Eliminators Spellbinder, Billy Joe Travis. This has the makings of a fine, fine wrestling match right here. Need to keep Doug Gilbert out of the action. I just realized he's standing on the ring apron. He's uh, he's the one that brought the Eliminators in here. Billy Travis says, hey, say hi to my mom in yeah. Kentucky. Yeah. And hello to everyone in Kentucky viewing us here and all around the USWA. Hey, shut up. The Eliminators. Boy, these guys are big and mean looking. I tell you, another another something special, too. Uh, remember the uh, USWA Wrestling Hall of Fame? Guy Coffey. I think most of the fans know Guy. Understand, Guy's got a birthday coming up this week. Happy yeah. birthday to him. Now, let's get going with wrestling action here. The Spellbinder just standing there waiting. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I tell you, I really think the Eliminator is kind of making fun of him. That might not be a good idea. Here's Doug Gilbert, Dangerous Doug. What is this? Dangerous Doug's Alliance, is that what you're calling this? Just watch this, Dave Brown. They don't got the spellbinder scared to death. Hey, what was that? Ooh. Yeah, it's, oh. I noticed how scared the spellbinder was. Who was it that jumped back and fell down right. <laughs> and tagged out? Yeah. Look at that. He tagged his partner. He Saturday. said, I don't want to start against him. Uh-uh. <laughs> now, they couldn't do that had contact been made, but since the match hasn't uh, officially gotten underway, they can change their mind and have somebody else start. Well, Billy Travis just started it for him right there. Spellbinder steps out too, and it's Billy Tra Oh my goodness, look at these guys go at each other. Here's Corey. What? Saturn of the big eliminators. These guys weigh out at a combined weight. Look at that dominant Dave Brown, Steve. What this is gonna prove is my brother thinks he's actually gonna shave my head, Dave Brown. He's got a he has lost his mind. But let me tell you one thing. If I do get my head shaved, Dave Brown. Me and my brother have had a few differences before, but he will regret this for the rest of his life. But look at my boys. I got no doubt they can beat Brian Christopher and Eddie Gordon. No doubt, Dave Brown. Look at that. Well, I tell you, they are a big, nasty-looking tag team, and I mean he's that. He's going to beat Travis to death right there, ain't they, Brown? Well, they're, as I say, they're a mean tag team. They're, they're big. They're, they're tough. They're rugged looking, no doubt about it. This is the first time I've seen them in action. Corey, I know you have seen them a time or two. And uh, and they, they are they are a big team, no yeah, doubt about they it. They are big guys. And as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Doug Gilbert that these guys weigh a combined weight of 555 pounds. Yeah, they did. They wrestle out of Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, there goes Billy Joe Travis onto the floor. The Eliminator, uh, Cronus, throws him out, and Doug Gilbert Gets right in the middle of all of the action. Oh, look out. Boy, look out. Right into our desk goes Billy Joe Chavez as Saturn the Eliminator. Rolls him back in the ring. Doug Gilbert coaching. He told him, he said, throw him around over there and then get him back in the ring. It's uh, hard to find better sportsmen than that, ain't it, Dave Brown? He just helped him right back in the ring. <laughs> I'm almost at a loss for words to refer to this team as fine sportsmen. They haven't proven yet that they're fine sportsmen. Nah. They've proved that they're a tough wrestling team. You know, I heard somebody out there say this might be the last match you see Billy Travis in. I said, I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't see Billy heading for the exits either. Whoa, Billy Joe gets out of the way and Saturn the Eliminator went to drop the elbow and miss. Travis tacks his partner. Here is the Spellbinder. Spellbinder picks up the Cronus the Eliminator, slams him down. Spellbinder going to work in there with Saturn in and goes in. Follows there. Ooh, stacks the heads together over that corner. Oh boy. Look at Doug Gilbert over there, right at the ring. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh I'm afraid of that. He pulled his feet out from under him. Spellbinder down on the mat. Doug Gilbert's holding his boot. 
Three. Count of three. Spellbinder has been counted out. There was no way the referee could see Doug Gilbert down at ringside on his hands and knees holding on to the Spellbinder's boot so that he couldn't break out of it. I saw exactly what happened, Billy. There is no doubt about it. Doug Gilbert was involved in it, and that's what Billy's trying to tell the referee. But fans, I can tell you, it's probably not going to do any good. The count of three has fallen, and it's going to be a victory in the book for the Eliminators. Give the assist to Doug Gilbert. We'll be back with more from the USWA.